Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television GP TV. I'm Brett. I know it's Tuesday, but we're going to be talking Marvel Comics. Now, Marvel sent us this trade of the classic collection, Craven's Last Hunt. Now, for those who don't know, I mean, this is one of the top Spider-Man stories to ever been written, and it is collected in this epic collection that is out today in bookstores. Now, it's been out in comic shops for a few weeks now, but it is your chance now to get it in bookstores like Amazon or Barnes Noble and stuff like that. So this collects Amazing Spider-Man 289 to 294, the annual 20 and 21, Spider-Man vs. Wolverine's Web of Spider-Man 29 through 32, and Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man 131 to 132. So from 1986, 1987, volume 17 in the Epic Collection. Uh, from writers Fred Schiller, Ken, Ken McDonald, James C. Owsley, Peter David, David Michelin, uh, or Mich Michelini, uh, Jim Shooter, and J.M. DeMattis. Uh, Petzlers include Mark Beach, and Mark Bright, Alan Kupperberg, Tom Morgan, Steve Geiger, John Romita Jr., Alex Saviak, Paul Ryan, and Mike Zek. Anchors Bob Wiasek, L. Williamson, Jem Fern, Art Nichols, Vince Coletta, and Bob McCloud with Jack Abel, Kyle Baker, Steve Geiger, and Keith Williams. Letters Jim Novak, Bill Oakley, and Rick Parker. Colors Bob Sharon, Petra Scott Tess, George Russos, and Janet Jackson with Mike Zack. This is definitely one of the classic Spider-Man stories. So when when uh, you talk about great Spider-Man villains. Craven is consistently up there as one of the best ever, uh, and this you know this does a great job of collecting some like key issues here. So story is Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson are getting married, but Craven the Hunter is going to make sure the wall crawler, crawler ends up six feet under. Literally begins with an all-time classic encounter with Wolverine, that changes Spidey's life forever, leading to the death of one of his best friends. The wake of tragedy, Peter pops the question, but the honeymoon is short-lived as Craven goes to the extreme lengths to prove himself superior to his greatest foe. It's one of comics' most introspective psychological sagas ever unfolds. The Hunter will learn that it's one thing to defeat Spider-Man, but another thing to expect him to stay down. Now, I, you know, this story's been out for 30 years at this point. Uh, I feel like I could probably spoil a little bit. You know, basically in this, we, we learn the Hobgoblin's uh, identity. Uh, Peter and Mary Jane get married. You get Craven basically, like, burying Peter and then going completely insane and wearing Spider-Man costume and running around. Spider-Man kind of, like, standing up to fight him. It's an epic story, very psychological, kind of dark for Spider-Man. And really freaking good. Uh, this was, I think, at some of the uh, some of the best Spider-Man times like ever in the history of Spider-Man stories. Um, the art is classic beyond classic. I, I like love this old school art. Um, let's find some good, cool things to show off. Um, well, so this is out of the uh, Amazing Spider-Man issue. Kind of kicks it off. But, you know, this isn't kind of like that over-the-top uh, Todd McFarlane Spider-Man. This is uh, a little bit more grounded in, in its own way. You don't, uh, you get some some crazy poses, but I don't, you know, not the he dislocated his shoulder sort of thing going on. I mean, great, absolutely amazing art like this. Um, yeah, I mean, this is, I think, utterly amazing, complete... Uh, fantastic, top-notch, classic story. Uh, if you've never read this, this is one to get. It retails for $39.99. You definitely get this cheaper online. The links that we're going to have is much, much cheaper. We'll have multiple links. You can get it digitally for, like, dirt cheap. I think it was, like, 10 bucks last I looked at. Uh, so that's pretty impressive uh, to be able to get this epic story, 400-something pages, for that little amount of money. What I really like also on this is it's got uh, tons of extras. Of course, we've got covers. I showed off the wedding cover in there. Um, but in the back of it, what I think is really neat is... Um, a lot going over Spider-Man and his wedding. I think that's actually really kind of cool. I mean, for those who were not around during that time, maybe not paying attention to, to comics at that time, uh, they might not know, like, 
how big of a deal it was for Spider-Man to get married to Mary Jane Watson, how how huge it was in the, the real world. Uh, they had, you know, actual people designing the dress, like dress designers, um, which that's that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what else we've got in here that I think is pretty neat. Uh, of course, we've got some stuff about the threads and the dressing up in real life. They had actual like, actors go in and play out the part uh, out in public. I think it was at Stan Lee officiated, if I remember right. Got some more photos. I mean, that's just really kind of neat, interesting, and, and uh, cool that they went and chronicled it um, and did it in real life. It played out in that way. Uh, the story also played out in the... Uh, the strips in uh, newspapers you can catch there they actually collected all of those of the wedding of the strips so it kind of you know was one of the first I would say uh, comic events that transcended the pages that there was cross uh, promotion in not just the comics but there was also the real life uh, stuff going on at like and I think it was what Met Stadium um, if there was the work being done in the comic strip that kind of played along. So it did a fantastic job kind of pulling everything together and, um, and working it out. There's also some of the original pages. You can check out the pencils there. I mean, it really comes down to it. If you're a Spider-Man fan and you want to get this epic story, I mean, this is the epic collection, so it does a fantastic job of bringing everything together and giving you tons of extras for your price. If you've never read this story, it's absolutely fantastic. It holds up all these years. Uh, it's, I think, one of my favorite uh, Spider-Man stories, but this is kind of when I was like my heyday of reading comics, so slightly nostalgic when it comes to that. Uh, the trade here does a fantastic job of giving you tons of extras, a lot of stuff that I think plays into the time of the year, or the time that this came out, and giving you kind of a better sense of how big of a deal it was. Uh, just overall, this is a, a fantastic fantastic collection. It does a, a wonderful job of bringing everything together and uh, and laying it out for you. I mean, this is a must for Spider-Man fans. It's a must for Marvel fans. And it's a must for anyone that hasn't read this and wants to. This is a great way of doing it. So as I said, it's $39.99. You can get it much cheaper online. We'll have links beneath uh, this video. There'll be affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage of that. But by purchasing through that, you do help support our site, so thank you very much for that. I want to thank Marvel again for hooking us up with this book, uh, which means we did get it for free, so use that to make your decision of whether or not you should get this. Uh, as always, if you're into Spider-Man, comics, Marvel, whatever, you should check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy. Until next time, keep spinning those webs. Make my marble and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at Graphic Policy. Dot com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.